Mountain family and welcome to my first ever organization video. I've never done one of these before, but it was requested by a viewer and I thought, well, I'll just do my kitchen then because I love my kitchen. <laughs> it's like my favorite room in the house. So this is like my first time ever doing this. I'm going to start, I think, over here, but I'm also going to show you my fridge, show you how I how I organize, organize, what is that? Organize my fridge. I'm gonna start over here, I guess. I don't know if I should start on the counter. You know what, let's start, let's just go up. Um, got my crock pot, uh, some pots over there. Devin's deep fryer, I hate that thing. Can I just express how deeply I hate that deep fryer? You've no idea. If I could throw it out, I would. Uh, Devin's humongous um, chips box. It's not just Pringles, it's everything in there because the box is really big and to store chips way up there, it's just, it, there's no way. It wouldn't happen. Um, our USB stereo that like hooks, it, hooks up to our like phones and stuff. Um, air freshener because I use that in the den dining room. Our uh, Devin's cup full of pens. This is also his, uh, oops, his uh, high school cup that he got. Gosh, I can't talk. And Devin keeps that full of pop can tabs. I have, I don't know. Please don't ask me. I just let him. And that's holding my dishes stuff. But up here where the cabinets are, this is all junk slash bulk stuff. I call it the cabinet of no return. Because <laughs> once it's up here, it like never gets used. Because like nothing in here is vegan except this. That, that's vegan. That's up. That's maple syrup. But like nothing else is. So I never ever use this cabinet. Devin does. I mean, he'll use vegetable oil. I don't use vegetable oil ever. I use coconut oil. So Devin sometimes comes in here. I do not. Over here, um, I have this broken down into sections. I have my popcorn up here. This is normally snack food, but we need to go grocery shopping this Friday. So Right now we're a little bit low than we normally would be, but this is normally snacks in that little area right there. This is all of my like legumes, pasta, just all things of that nature, all of that stuff. Um, over here is my coconut oil and all peanut butters, almond butters. There's Nutella back there somewhere. Uh, almonds, when I had walnuts, my walnuts is right there. So all that goes right there. Um, this is usually just miscellaneous really <laughs> like um oops i moved my camera like oats and this is devin's tea stuff and there's graham crackers back there did i say that correctly what is wrong with my mouth this is formula that i've gotten samples of that i keep for whenever we go on the go and applesauce and i keep all wraps and chips that can be stored up there and um flatbread tortillas did i say that already that all goes up there. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so flustered because this is my first video of actually doing this and I just hope that I'm doing it right. <laughs> like, I hope this is like what people were looking for. <laughs> anyway, that's how I've organized this cabinet. And again, they're usually more full than this. Over here is, I keep my giant dish soap right there. I got that from Sam's. Like I said, I don't buy a whole lot from Sam's Club, but I do buy stuff like this, like dish soap because it lasts forever. Uh, I do bathe Andy in the sink still because she's little and I would rather save my back from aching as long as possible. So yeah, her uh, bath stuff is right there. I just moved my camera again. What is wrong with me today? Like really, I've got issues today, guys. I'm sorry. That is my compost because I know y'all are looking at it like, Kristen, what is that? That is for my compost. It's been raining today. I just haven't made it outside yet, but it is going outside today. Uh, that's just where I temporarily store it until I can get outside. Just so y'all aren't like thinking I'm some kind of freak. <laughs> uh, I keep big fruit like pineapple. Um, banana stays over there, but oh gosh, pineapple's the only fruit I can think of that I actually store right there. But anyway, pineapple, uh, Andy's formula, disinfectant wipes. Uh, this is just me and my house, but disinfectant wipes always stay on the kitchen counter because you just never know with kids. You just never know when you're going to need to whip one of those out. This is Andy's. Oh, I can't grab it. That is Andy's. Um, it's not Andy's. It's mine. It's my pumping flange thing. Good gosh. I told you guys I'm having issues today. I just, I can't function. 
our little banana fish that Devin insists on keeping and I'm just like whatever go ahead sandwich bags I keep sandwich bags on the counter because Devin makes his lunch a lot and I'm not gonna let the poor guy because I normally store bags over there but I'm not gonna let the poor guy keep going there over and over and over again to get the sandwich bags out so for his convenience they stay out and I have uh, this is where I store apples or pears or avocados right now avocados in there um, just anything like that that can't go in there can't go in the fridge or that I don't want to go in the fridge it goes in that little basket that's for Devin's those are the batteries for Devin's tools my pretty little wax burner the um, toaster the microwave I was trying to keep all of this stuff as close to the stove as possible that was my whole mentality when I was trying to organize the kitchen was okay if I'm cooking at the stove what am I going to need immediately to cook with that I can keep by me? So that was like what was going on in my head. Um, so that was that's the rest of... No, it's not the rest of. I still have stuff over here. Oh, I'm totally bombing this. <laughs> I have issues. Uh, I have little containers right here. Canisters, only they're plastic. Brown sugar, powdered sugar, coconut sugar, and flour. Whole wheat flour. I only cook with whole wheat flour and coconut sugar. I just anyway I won't go into why I have the big the big um, seasonings that I can't store in my little cabinet right here goes right here I have a big huge thing of cumin and mrs. dash and I need to get a salt grinder for my Himalayan pink salt I just haven't done it yet because I keep forgetting ah, I fail um, this cabinet this is the cabinet right beside of the sink up here, I still have the giant thing of, of hot chocolate that Devin bought me for Christmas. Y'all remember that? I don't know if you do. I don't know how long you've been on my channel. But if you remember that, or if you follow me on social media, I still have it. And it's right there, and it's still huge. This is our medicine cabinet. Um, kind of like both mixed. I'm hoping to reduce some of this. I will tell you how and why in another vlog. It's not going to be for a while, but I'm hoping to reduce some of this. Um, over here, I'm a humongous tea drinker, so I have green tea, I have loose leaf tea, I have bag tea, I have like three things of tea that are yogi. I love this tea. This is like my favorite. Um, so I have a bunch of tea, and then there's my little tiny bag of coffee, because <laughs> I just don't drink it. <laughs> I am not a big coffee drinker. Um, I might have a cup like every now and then, but I am a huge tea drinker, like huge. I keep all canned stuff right there, canned beans, canned corn, canned peas. If it's canned, it goes right there. And if it's canned soup, it goes up there, as does my vegetable broth. So that is, oh, the fish food goes up here. I used to um, I used to put honey in my tea, I no longer do because of the whole veganism thing. So no more honey, but Devin still uses it. And of course, our pharmaceutical stuff. That's those cabinets. And over here is where all of our dishes, well, sort of dishes are. <laughs> um, over here are sippy cups, lots of sippy cups. That goes all the way back because in my house you can never have enough sippy cups, ever. Um, my little teapots right here. I have a big teapot, a small teapot, and my cups and saucers. I really, really, I know, you're going to think I'm an old person. I really don't care. I really want to collect old teapots and tea teacups, like, really bad. I want to go yard sailing flea marketing like so bad. I, I know I'm crazy. Um, this is regular mugs, coffee, tea, stuff like that. And I have my little uh, bullet, baby bullet canisters right here because it's convenient and I don't know where else to put them, let me be honest. And then I have regular cups down here. Half plastic, half glass because Viv and I started out with glass and then we started having kids and we went plastic. Because <laughs> when you have kids, yeah. <laughs> For when they're little at least yeah up here um, I have a random bottle cuz I'm about to learn how to make kombucha is that how you say that yes I'm, tr I'm gonna try to learn how to make that oh crud I need to text Devin anyway um so that bottles gonna be for that I have really big cups up here and Andy's bottles I have other big cups right here and to-go cups and also um, my little flutes and I have two other big bottles like that to probably store kombucha. I hope I'm saying that right. Is that how you say that? Anyway, to store that in. 
and bowls and plates for the girls. Those are the girls' plates and those are the bowls. So that is that little section. Whoops, didn't close it. And then over here are our plates and normally I store bread and bagels up there, but as, as you can see, it's looking a little bit bare. So not right this second. And starting down here, uh, this is basically our bulk drawer. This was a Lazy Susan, but it broke. So now we just stick stuff that we have a lot of in there, like this humongous thing of tortilla chips and all of their Pediasure. And we have like three things of pretzels. So yeah, it's formula, two things of juice. It all, it all goes over there. My little onion and potato bin that I have had to fix more than once because I love the little thing and I don't want to give it up. Um, in here, I usually put dry cereal back there but we don't eat a whole lot of it. So uh, I have freezer bags and Ziploc bags in the front, two empty containers of strawberries because I have two strawberry plants and I need something to put the strawberries in. Um, down here, <clears throat> this is usually my potato section, the potatoes that can't fit in here go in here. I have sweet potatoes, red potatoes. I like potatoes, what can I say? So that all goes in there. I also have barbecue sauce in here just because I don't want to store it way up there. I don't know, maybe I just haven't thought to do that yet. I don't know. Anyway, that's there. I have a junk drawer, which I'm not going to open because we all know what the junk drawer looks like. You probably have one at your house. It's just the random drawer where you just put random stuff because it goes nowhere. So where, what, what do you do with stuff that goes nowhere? You put it in a junk drawer. Uh, these are all my cleaners. They go underneath my sink. I think most people do that. <laughs> so those are my cleaning stuff. This is my... What do I even call this? Like my baking stuff? Not really, because you don't really bake with... Well, anyway, this is like miscellaneous stuff. Like baking powder and salt and Devin's collection of um, uh, fast food restaurant thingies. I know what I'm trying to say. I know what that's called. I'm telling you, my brain... I've been up since like 7 a.m., which is super early for my house. So I'm like, ah, right now. Wax paper, dry, dry stuff bunch of sprinkles more sprinkles than I know what to do with so that's that whole what's this oh yeah this is brown rice which I don't stick over there because it's huge so it goes in there this is all my Tupperware these are the bottoms and down here are all the lids actually the lids this isn't just lids to Tupperware this is lids to everything so if it's a if you need a lid it's in this drawer it will be in there close that this is my um this is where I store all of my uh, dish rags I did store them over there but this drawer is too small so I had to transfer them to here so this is now my dish rag drawer underneath here I have um, my really big stuff like my um, mixing bowls, my colander, my big huge pa uh, pots. I have two pots that are that big. Um, other stuff like blenders and my cutting board and stuff like that. That's in here. A can opener. All that stuff stuck in here. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Please don't make fun of me. But my drawer accidentally came off. This is totally by accident. This drawer, this like side right here, the side of it, used to get stuck on this side of the wall. So one day I was trying to pull the door, door, drawer, whatever, try to pull it open and instead of it, you know, coming open, the door fell off. But this is where I keep all of my like kitchen tools, I guess. Let me just pull this out. <laughs> that looks super weird. Anyway, this is where I keep all my tools. Like this is um, a multi-functional uh, thing where I can like great stuff or you know something like that um it got my measuring cups in here I, anything that's like a like like a kitchen asset or a tool i i put in here let me see if i can somehow magically put this back <laughs> oh i did it without spilling anything that's awesome in here i have all of my spatulas my spoons my humongous watermelon knife i mean everything is in here because it's super close to the stove so when you need something there it is and this is all of our fork spoons 
medicine droppers. This is for Carly's birthday. I don't normally buy plastic cutlery, but this is for Carly's birthday because it's like next month. It's creeping up on me, guys. I don't want her to be three. But anyway, I'm going to get emotional. I have stuff back here like my potato peeler, um, ice cream scoop, just like random stuff that is a kitchen tool, but I don't want to put way down there because it's going to get lost. So I put it back there instead. Oh, and that's a lid. What is, what's that lid not doing in the lid drawer? Oh, I tell you guys. This is my knife and... I put my wax paper here because it's little and it fits. And my um, waxes are in here. Like I put the uh, pizza cutter in here because it's sharp. I don't want the girls to get it over there, so I put it in here. Um, so this is my knife drawer. Um, this is lids. Lids for everything. All of the pots, pans, etc. This is all of my spices, and I have a ton. It, like, fits this entire drawer. What I really want to do is get a spice rack, like, right there. See? It would be it would be so nice. It would be so nice being right there. I would like to get a spice rack. It's just Carly's birthday is coming up, and we're so planning for that. And it's just a small thing that can wait until after her birthday. You know what I mean? So, for right now, they're in this drawer, but they will not stay, or at least not all of them will stay in this drawer. Because it makes the drawer kind of heavy when you have to pull the entire thing out and then it wants to like fall. So it's there for now, but it won't it won't stay there. And down here are all of my pots and pans. They're all down there. And of course, like most people, I think most people do this. My let's see if I can actually open it one-handed. Oh, I did. Look at that. Baking trays, baking casserole dishes, you know. Like, everybody has this drawer, so I don't really need to explain it. So that's neat. Uh, everybody has this. So that's where I store our baking pans and everything. And as for my fridge, this isn't going to take very long. The top is, um, like, leftovers or dips or salads, like chicken salad. That's for Devin. Or stuff like that. Um, that, that stays up here, except her... Oh, I can't hold my camera right right now. Hold on. There we go. Except her pediasure, the girl's pediasure, because this is where we keep all of our liquids. And there's not enough room for the pediasure right here, right now. <laughs> like, this this little place is, it, this is stuffed. Like, there is no more room, so it's up there for right now. And as I just introduced, it's where all of our liquids are. Everything, like milk, broth, coconut milk. Uh, this is homemade watermelon green tea that I made. Yeah, just, that's green tea too. This is the leftover green tea that I had from making this. Um, yeah, so all liquids is there. Normally I call this my non-vegan section, <laughs> just for fun, because this is where all of Devin's stuff is, like his chicken. He's got sour cream back there. I don't know what he else he has back there, but I have a watermelon here just for now because it's huge, and I have, like, nowhere else to put it except right there. So a watermelon is right there for now. Even though it's, you know, not vegan. Oh, well. These three sections right here are all, basically all mine because Devin's not the biggest vegetable eater in the world. This is one vegetable drawer where I keep the small stuff like asparagus, um, lemons, uh, yellow squash, you know, like little stuff that can go into this little drawer. It's originally supposed to be a snack pan. Yeah, I buy way too many vegetables to just use that one drawer. So I have two, and this little section, because this little section stores stuff like cauliflower and sometimes lettuce, um, a cantaloupe, you know, like big stuff that you don't want to put in a drawer because it's going to take up a lot of room. And this is my other vegetable drawer that actually is supposed to be for vegetables, <laughs> but I have like two drawers. So that's all of my other vegetables where I store stuff like cabbage, you know, bigger vegetables. And this is all Devin's because this is all deli stuff. This is cheese, and I think he's got ham and turkey in there, does he? Yep. Ham, turkey, cheese, pepperoni. That's all Devin's deli stuff. Over here is the girls' uh, bagels and cream cheese, because they like that. This is condiments, more condiments, and more and more condiments. Because if we are nothing, we are a family of condiments. <laughs> <laughs> we want all this all the ranch on whatever we're eating we want it all so we have lots of room for that normally we put canned pop here 
because Devin still drinks pop sometimes. So normally that's where we put our pop is right there, but we are out because Devin's starting to buy less pop. So maybe this whole section will be empty here pretty soon. Um, speaking of, in a different vlog, I'm going to update you guys, not only on my weight loss, but also Devin's because yeah, that's happening. Anyway, I'm going to go into something that's for a different vlog. But anyway, that is our fridge section and our freezer section. Ice is up there and a popsicle, one single popsicle. Um, this is, this is treat stuff too. I just can't remember what it is. Uh, I don't know. It's some kind of like ice cream novelty stuff. I think that's like fudge pops. Anyway, um, I also call this, these two things, my non-vegan section, just in my head because I don't know. I, I like order and I'm kind of OCD. So I'm like, okay, this is where the non-vegan stuff goes. This is where the vegan stuff goes. I don't know why I do this. I'm just, I don't know. So there's like shrimp in here and chicken nuggets for the girls and corn dogs, which I haven't even opened yet. <laughs> Waffles. Um, I have my little bit of frozen vegetables that I keep right there and my huge breast milk stash. I have two boxes now because this box down here got too full so then I had to get this box and what is on it? What is that? I hope this is water that I've somehow dripped on there. What is that? Oh it's ice. Oh I see. It's ice. Okay. Anyway that's my breast milk and there's virtually nothing in our drawers. <laughs> so anyway I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog. If you want to follow me on social media, my links are down below. And I will see you guys later in a new vlog. Bye, guys.